I'm Crazy Cephalopoda, an aquatic scientist who likes to play a variety of video games, and today we're going to make a fish. So the fish that we are talking about today is a wondrous creation that we will discuss in depth here shortly. It's of course the ocean sunfish or the mola mola. Mola mola, the name's so nice you say it twice, right? What is this thing actually? Is it a bird? No. Is it an abomination? Possibly. It's actually just a fish, in case you were unaware. Now the word mola is supposedly a Latin word that means millstone, and it's an object that is shaped similar to what this fish kind of looks like. So just to show you, this thing is referred to as the ocean sunfish, which denotes the fact that number one, it's found in the ocean, and number two, it's a sunfish, and these things can get kind of massive. If you can't tell from the picture and the gif or the guy swimming next to it, these things can be up to like 14 feet vertically, 10 feet horizontally, and weigh up to 5,000 pounds. So just a massive fish. Um, compared to all the other bony fish, it's actually one of the largest, if not the largest in the ocean. Oh, that's a big fish. Let's just look at the shape of this thing for a second. The mola mola kind of has a really strange bullet shaped body, if you want to describe it like that, and it sports some really abnormal looking fins. Probably one of the weirdest things about it, if you look at it, is that the fin in the back, which for you science nerds is often called the caudal fin, is not really well formed in the mola mola, if formed at all. Kind of an odd thing, but it doesn't grow as the fish grows in age and matures. So what ends up happening is that instead of growing into an actual fin, it kind of starts to fold back in on itself. Um, not sure why the reason is, but either way, you know what they say, business up front, party in the back. I think in scientific terms they call that thing now a clavis, and it kind of uses this as a rudder or steering whenever it's in the water swimming. So interesting. Speaking of weird fins, let's talk about the two big fins that you see on the top and the bottom of the fish. The fins on the top are called the dorsal fins, and then the fin on the bottom is an anal fin. And as you can tell, compared to the pectoral fins, the ones on the side, these two are really long. And there's actually a reason for that, and it has to do with the way that the fish swims. So in order to actually steer or move that big, massive, chunky body through the ocean, they have to beat that top and that bottom fin in unison, and then they kind of steer a little bit with the other two fins that they have. That back caudal fin that's kind of all malformed, and the little pectoral fins at the side. So often when people talk about these things, they are described as a clumsy swimmer who kind of like waggles or flaps their way through the ocean, which I mean, as long as it gets the job done. Now you might think that due to the fact that this animal looks completely bonkers, there's no way in which it could be any weirder or that it's probably an unsuccessful fish, but you'd be wrong and you would be surprised to learn that not only are females super fertile, they can have like 300 million eggs a pop for whatever reason, only the gods know, but these are what the babies look like. How is it possible that the young is even weirder than the adult in my opinion? Who knows? They kind of look like a baby puffer fish, and that's for good reason. Apparently, they are somewhat related. So you can kind of see they've got little spines on them, and as they mature, those spines go away, and they become the previous thing that we looked at. We could spend literally all day talking about the weirdness of the mola mola, behaviors, the types of things that it eats, but there's people who've done that already. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually scurry over to this new game we've been playing called Ecosystem, and we're going to attempt to make this fish. Is it possible to make them look any weirder than they already are? Probably, we will find out. So let's pop on over to the game and see what we can do. All right, so here we are in ecosystem and I've kind of gone ahead and created a somewhat habitat. I just put a lot of plants and things together in creative mode, just to have some kind of base of an ecosystem already formed and hopefully that way my creatures don't die when I make them. So keep in mind, this is the unfinished product. But in the game, I believe if you click on this, now you can make a fish. Oh gosh. Is that the face or the butt? Oh, that was the butt. Okay. We're going to try to make a mola mola. I took a little break between making the first introduction and this, just to make sure I would have to ample time to forget what they look like. But let's start with the face. I don't think that's correct. Nope. I don't... 
So in terms of teeth, mola mola, I believe their upper and bottom jaw are kind of like these big bony fused plates. They don't really have like individualized teeth. I like that one. Mola Molas kind of have like this dumb expression on their face, so that seems good to me. Now we gotta just make it really wide. Oh. Does that look like the Mola Mola to you? That's a big body fish, right? It was kind of square. <laughs> Is this the tail? All right, oh God. Um, remember that their tail kind of folds in on itself. I wonder how we can do that. How do we change the tail to make it kind of look lumpy? I should probably learn how to do the controls a little bit. Ooh, we can change how fat this thing is. So being a sunfish, they're kind of compressed, meaning that they're really thin. Oh gosh. We want to make the, oh gosh. <laughs> What happens if you just keep making this bigger? Wow, that's a mistake. You know what? I'm cool with it being that size. How about that? Now there's a couple fins that we need to make on this thing. We need to be able to make the top and the bottom fin, which is the dorsal fin and then the uh, anal fin. So, and then pectoral fins, which go on the side. Let's start with the bottom fin, I guess. So by touching this, we can add a fin Oh, and it, of course, added it to the top. I don't remember how wide that fin is, but I know it's really tall, right? Is it skinny and tall, or is it wide and tall? I'm gonna say skinny and tall. So, ooh, that's a big fin. Let's make it thinner. Yes. <laughs> Look! I mean, kind of, right? Kind of. Okay. So then I think in this game, in order to make a duplicate, you have to click on this mirror part and it puts it on the bottom. Yes, look, okay. Right, got it. We've got two fins, we're done, almost. We gotta do the pectoral fins, which are the ones that are on the sides. Think of it like the fish's arms. So I think when you make a new fin, I haven't become a master pro at this yet, you have to click move. And then you can like drag it. Oh yeah. Okay. We did something. Was it a good something? I can't tell you, but we've got one fin. Now they're kind of short. It doesn't really have long pectoral fins on the sides. Okay. I think you can rotate it too. Let's try to rotate it back. Because their fins are kind of like backwards, aren't they? Like pressed up against them. I can't tell at all if I'm actually <laughs> rotating this or not. Making a fish is hard, and I never claim to be good at it. I hope that the developers of this game don't watch this and see me making a fool of myself on their system. What have we actually done here? Is this a fin? Does this work? It looks terrible. Let's play around with the settings a bit. That did something. It kind of made a little fin. You know what? That's cool. I'm happy with that little tiny fin thing. Let's move it closer to the head because those fins are kind of up here. And then let's play with the angle just a little bit more. I don't know what all these flashy colors are. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? I'm cool with that. So then we need it on the opposite side because it's got two. So we're going to click on this part and then mirror. And look, now it's got one on the other side. This thing is horrendous, but I love it. Does it look like one? I'm trying to think. I'm scared to like change anything. I feel like this has got to be close. Right? You know what? I'll eventually, I'll put a picture side by side and we can see, here's what I made. How close is this <laughs> to the actual Mola Mola we looked at earlier? Just for funsies, let's play around with the skin setting just a bit. They're kind of like a silvery color, but I don't really see a silvery option, so I'm just gonna go for like a light color. All right, so to be fair, my Mola Mola is bright green, but you know what? In this environment, everything is green, so maybe that coloration works. We've made the Mola Mola. I'm gonna save it. 
Just to look really quick, the type is forager, which I think is true. I believe Mola Mola eat like plankton, zooplankton, algae. I think they like jellyfish. I think that's their favorite food. And they eat them with those big chompy teeth. So forager's okay. Mating, it says mass, poly, or mono. I really don't actually know how Mola Mola mate. I'm gonna leave it on mass. And then we're gonna save this guy. And we're gonna call it the Mola Mola. Oh god, it gives you the ability to take a picture, but my dude is so massive. How do I even... There we go. Alright. Yeah! That's vaguely Mola Mola-like, right? I'm gonna take a picture of this and then show you what the Mola Mola really looks like, and hopefully <laughs> I got somewhat close. Let's take a picture of that guy. I love it. Alright, so click anywhere to spawn Mola Mola, and then it can be accessed from the database in the future. I'm so nervous. I want my little creations to actually live. I'm gonna spawn it in a couple places, just to see. Maybe it'll be more successful in one area versus another. So, I kinda set up the map to where there's different little ecosystems. Look! It's actually swimming! Did I actually make it? So I'm curious, like, so I'm assuming, like, all the fish are going to be kind of <laughs> different. And maybe the ones with the best swimming will be the ones that survive. But I'm curious, will they swim similar to how a mola mola swims? That one's trying real hard to use its little back coddle fin. That's not working too well for him. In fact, he just died, so really not successful. That one is <laughs> using its little peck fins like a little whip going back and forth. This is fascinating to me. So we're just giving them time right now to see how they move. I think that's kind of similar to how the Mola Mola moves. It moves its top and bottom fin, or undulates it. That's the sciency word, undulate. Kind of like that, but like in a way in which it's not gonna die. Oh my gosh, have I made anything that can actually live? <laughs> There's so many of them dying. I feel terrible. I'm a terrible creator. He seems to be doing okay. Now, I think there is a way in the game where you can learn about their names and such. But I don't remember how to do that. So thinking about like that video we saw earlier, or the little gif of how the Mola Mola was moving, we can see that these are trying to move in a variety of ways. They haven't necessarily all figured out the flapping motion yet. Some are. So let's click on some of the ones that are the most successful. This is called Nolan. Nolan is growing. Nolan is vaguely moving all his fins slightly. Nolan has just died. <laughs> The populations are just kind of going crazy. If you look at the map up here, it shows you where they are. And then these are all the little subspecies that have formed. So the shiny stuff here that I put in the game is plankton. This one is actively going through and actually eating the plankton, which I believe, like I said, I think Mola Mola actually do. So that's neat. Probably not an intentional thing that the game actually did, but just the byproduct of having this kind of food resource there that's available. Everything is dying. In real life, though, the Mola Mola is like an indestructible force of nature. I think somebody once said you could literally shoot these things with a bullet and it would be hard to actually hurt them. They've got just like really thick skin. And so I think the history is like back in the day when harpooning was a thing. Um, they would try to harpoon these guys and they were just like so stupidly big and thick and indestructible. It would take a lot of effort to actually harpoon them. Now, other kind of neat things about the Mola Mola, I will say, is that, um, neat in a weird way, they tend to get parasites on their body, and so one thing I've heard is that they'll actually go up to the surface of the water in the ocean, and they'll kind of, like, breach and lay on their side, and by doing that, it lets birds and other things land on them and pick the parasites off of them. So that's kind of, like, a cool behavior that they model, which I think is neat. I am curious, though when they do that, if they get stuck on their side, are they able to like put themselves back down? Some fish have something called a swim bladder and it's kind of like this gaseous sac that they can fill or decrease the amount of gas and air and it lets them move up and down or change their buoyancy in the water. But I don't think the Mola Mola actually has one of those. 
So if somebody does know, how does this thing actually move up and down in the water column? Is it just sheer willpower that powers this thing? <laughs> All right, now just out of curiosity with the game, you can do other things. They have like um, Forager, I think Predator and Apex Predator. So I'm gonna put some of each of those in here and see how those change the Mola Mola. So I added Foragers now, and I'm assuming that means that they'll compete with the Mola Mola. Competition is basically like where two animals are competing for some kind of resource, and that resource could be food, it could be space, you know, things like that. So by adding competition, you might actually put some selective pressures that force the Mola Mola or other fish that I've made to change shape or feeding strategy to compete. Or maybe the Mola Molas I made are so successful that they'll do really well with all the new stuff that we added, so who knows? Let's check it out. All these little ones are the new shapes that are kind of spawning in. And just like with the Mola Mola, the shapes that are the most successful are the ones that are going to win and stay. Everybody that's dying obviously wasn't a good fit. It seems like in some cases the Mola Mola population here is actually stabilized a little bit. Like there are still some that are dying, but they're not dying as fast as they were earlier, which is good. Maybe this one's trying to go to the surface to get his parasites ate. Ascend! <laughs> He's just going. All right. Don't get stuck up there with no swim bladder. So let's look around a little bit. This is one of the new ones, I think, that's making it. They seem to be doing okay. Ooh, here's another one that does actually look kind of fish-like, like if a fish and a cactus were together. It's weird that they're all green, though. I wonder if the coloration does actually have to do with the fact that I made a habitat that's mostly green. So green would be the best coloration that you could have. This one smiled. Your happiness makes me happy, little dude. But I'm also going to put a predator right next to you, so hold on. We're going to introduce some predators now. Again, we're just adding more things to the ecosystem, making it a little bit more diverse, which is good, but also hopefully changing up the things that are and aren't working. So we'll add a predator over there. What is that? That's not something I made. Is that its face on the front? Is it sideways? I can't tell how... What are you? It's like doing jazz hands. All right, we're gonna add some more predators. And eventually, here in a minute, we're going to add some apex predators just to see. I can't even process what this is. It's like a fish that accidentally has a tumor growing off the side, yet somehow it's being really successful, apparently. Let's look at some... Interesting. We've got a lot going on here. And it's time to shake up the ecosystem by finally adding an apex predator. I've noticed that when you have less plants in the pelagic area, which means open water, that the fish tend to get really big, which I find kind of interesting because in the game I really didn't put any resources over here. So maybe they eat and then they come back? I don't know what you are. You know what, I'm going to say that this little experiment actually went really well. I'm surprised at how good my little molas are at swimming around, competing with other fish. I mean, we still have like... What is that, five different species of Mola Mola, even though we've added apex predators, other foragers. So, I mean, they've got to be somewhat successful, right? I didn't make an abomination. There's one that's actually swimming sideways, and then he died. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I will say I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it's neat. There's a lot of stuff going on here. This game just kind of blows my mind with what you can do. So my hope is that in the future, I'm gonna to try to make more fish. So I'll tell you a little bit about the fish. We'll talk about maybe some cool facts about them or what their form does, why they look the way they do. And then we'll come back here and try to make it and just see what happens. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. It's been um, definitely interesting. If you liked, feel free to like and subscribe. 
and otherwise, I hope that you have a great day.